Hello everyone. I'm Daiki Ito from Deloitte Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about security issues in blockchain-based services. The title is Investigations of Top-Level Domain Name Collision in Blockchain Naming Services. Thank you. Let me begin by talking about research background. Okay. Uh, <coughs> using a DNS, uh, domain, uh, TLDs and domain names are uh, centrally managed by ICANN and registries. When we register domain names, uh, certain prescribed procedures and le reviews are required. On the other hand, a BNS has been proposed. BNS is in that is blockchain naming service. Uh, in BNSs, TLDs and domain names are automatically registered on a blockchain uh, using smart contracts, and we can use them as aliases for wallet addresses in addition to IP addresses like uh, DNS. Sorry. <coughs> uh, uh, as a result, BNSs provide capabilities for permissionless and decentralized management of TLDs and domain names. <laughs> However, it also causes a new type of security issues known as BNS TLD name collisions. BNS TLD name collisions mean that the same TLDs are registered across several different BNSs and ICANN. In this example, uh, dot, the, dot music TLDs are registered. Uh, many dot, dot music TLDs are registered. Uh, each BNS has uh, has dedicated resolvers for uh, name resolution. Therefore, the results of name resolution may be different uh, depending on the resolvers. <laughs> We consider this may cause communication failures and incorrect cryptocurrency transfers. For example, in the namespace of ICANN, a domain name that is reserved to a certain IP address, a certain IP address may be reserved to a completely different IP address in a namespace of BNS. In the worst case, attackers could exploit th this issue. For example, uh, attackers may register and use the same domain name as a legitimate one to deceive users, uh, just like as phishing attacks. So in this work, we investigated the security issue, BNS TLD name collisions. In our investigation, we targeted two BNSs, Handshake and Decentraweb. These services allow users to register and manage TLDs and their root zones. Here is a comparison uh, between Handshake and Decentraweb. Handshake was launched in 2018, and uh, it is based on its original blockchain. The registration cost is uh, determined through auctions. On the other hand, Decentral Web was launched in 2021. It is based on Ethereum and Polygon. The registration cost is $50 per year. Both services allow users to register DNS resource records. And uh, uh, in Decentral Web, uh, users can also register wallet addresses, IPFS URI, and email addresses. And in both services, uh, such as uh, strings such as ICANN TLDs and Alexa top domain names are reserved uh, to restrict registration. <laughs> this is an overview of the investigation. First, we collected TLDs registered in Decentral Web and Handshake. Second, we collected data associated with TLDs, uh, 
such as DNS resource records and metadata. Finally, we, uh, we identified name collisions and uh, analyzed the tendencies of TLDs with name collision based on the collected data. Now I explain the investigation results. In total, we collected over 11 million BNS TLDs. This table shows the collection results of BNS TLDs and records. We collected over uh, 11 million handshake TLDs and over 11,000 decentral web TLDs. And among the uh, TLDs, 4.8% uh, of handshake TLDs and 31.6% of decentral web TLDs were invalid owing to expression or other reasons. From the table, we can find that uh, handshake has a larger number of TLDs with DNS resource records. This is because when handshake TLD is registered through the marketplace called name base, some DNS resource records are automatically set. On the other hand, in decentral web, there are only three TLDs with DNS resource records. This is because decentral web does not have a default setting for DNS resource records and the transaction fees required for the settings. Here is analysis results of BNS TLD name collisions. We analyzed over 11 million handshake TLDs and over 8,000 decentral web TLDs, and we identified about 7,000 name collisions. The graph on the left shows the distribution of storing lengths of TLDs with name collisions. From the graph, we can find that the shorter the string, the more name collisions are occurred. Name collisions for three character, TL, three character TLDs uh, were, most, were the most common, and those for five character or less TLDs accounted for over 50% of the total. And the number of one and two character TLDs was small because decentral web restricts to register ASCII characters of two characters or less as TLDs, and only non ASCII characters such as multiplied characters and emojis are allowed. Um, the table on the right shows a breakdown of TLDs with name collision by character type. From the table, we can find that the TLDs, uh, TLDs combining multiple character types have fewer name collisions. <laughs> I show you some examples of TLDs with name collision. Simple English word, simple English words like uh, like uh, these often face name collisions, whereas combinations of multiple types of uh, characters uh, like this, like this, face fewer name collisions. This is analysis results of ICANN TLD name collisions. We identified name collisions with operational ICANN TLDs for 10 handshake TLDs and 2 decentral web TLDs. This table shows the collided TLDs and the number of domain names registered under each TLD. From the table, we can say that I can TLDs with many domain names such as dot, dot .wiki, dot .inc, and .gay TLDs experience a significant impact from name collisions. Based on the analysis results, we discuss countermeasures against BNS TLD name collisions. First, we contacted and disclosed the investigation investigation results to the service providers as responsible disclosures. They responded to us, understood the issue, but took no further action. This is because in their ideal decentralized world, individual freedom through decentralization is valued more than centralized control. And issues like name collisions are fundamentally considered as a result of user choice, that is user responsibility. 
Therefore, we consider that preventive countermeasures before registration would be effective for BNST uh, LD name collisions. For users, one measure is to check whether a TLD is already registered and potentially colliding with existing BNST LDs. Additionally, considering the analysis results that complex string strings have fewer name collisions, registering TLDs with multiple types of characters could be an effective measure. Furthermore, to avoid the impact of name collisions, it's important to inform users who will access your domain name about the BNS you are using. On the other hand, service providers are encouraged to facilitate user understanding of name collisions to minimize its impact. Additionally, they should offer technical services and to tools to help users to avoid name collisions. Okay, this is a summary of our research. In our study, we focused on BNS TLD name collisions where the same TLDs are registered across several, B, uh, across several different BNSs and ICANN. We investigated BNS TLDs registered in Decentraler Web and Handshake. As a result, we identified about 7,000 BNS TLD name collisions between Decentraler Web and Handshake, and 10 name collisions between ICANN and these BNSs. Based on the, these findings, and we considered countermeasures for both users and service providers. As a future direction, it is important to consider and build a mechanism for existing internet and multiple BNSs to coexist by implementing technologies that are com compatible with standards such as RFCs and ERCs. This is all for my presentation. Thank you.